Submissive cuckold, what is it? And how is it different from a normal cuckold or cuckolding? Let's discuss. I'm Marissa Rutter, author of the best-selling female-led relationship 13 book series on Amazon. I'm the founder of the Love and Obey movement and an advocate for the female-led lifestyle. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. So as you probably know, there's several variations in the way that cuckolding happens in relationships and marriages, and there are various types of cuckolds. The definition of a cuckold is quite simply a submissive man who desires pleasure from his queen having sex with another man. Now he's turned on, he wants to watch, and generally the queen has the power in the relationship, hence cuckolding happens frequently in female-led relationships. The cuckold has an innate need to be humiliated and enjoys the humiliation aspect of another usually well-endowed man or man of a different race satisfying his queen. It's the forbidden aspect of the scenario, which is the turn on. Regular cuckolding will involve the man hearing about the details of an encounter or watching an encounter. A submissive cuckold can take things to a whole new level where the man cleans his queen after she's been with the bull or he consents to be tied up or caged while the encounter is going on. The submissive cuckold also has a desire to be spanked or whipped by both the queen and the bull or made to do pet play or some other type of fetish. Hence, you can combine cuckolding with other domination submission fetishes like BDSM, spanking, pep play, anal play, and more. The idea is the man wants to feel true submission, complete subservience to both the queen and the bull. Now where the confusion can occur early in the relationship is when you, the cuckold, wants to dictate how the cuckolding scenario will go. You have begged your queen to engage in cuckolding or she's made the decision and you both agree that you're going to go through the experience. But now you don't want to be subservient to the bull or you can't handle tolerating the cuckolding happening in your home. It's normal for you to experience all sorts of reactions and emotions and hesitations with being a submissive cuckold. But it is also extremely important to discuss all aspects of this with your queen before you engage in it. It's also a great practice to even have discussions with the bull so everyone's on board with what's going to happen and there will be less disagreements. If you and your queen is new to cuckolding, don't jump into it being a submissive cuckold right from the start. Start with hearing about the encounter, meeting the bull, and helping your queen to prepare. After you've had some experience, then you're free to engage in activities like cleaning or reclaiming. My book, Cuckolding, is the perfect resource and guide for you to learn how to proceed with cuckolding slowly and to learn about the more extreme versions of cuckolding, as well as being a submissive cuckold. Get my book cuckolding and you'll be on your way to creating a much more pleasing, successful cuckolding experience.